Do you want better spam prevention so you don't look like a sad wally? How about a way to get instant clips saved directly to your hard drive so you can upload your Megapog moments on any other platform? Yes, there has been a major update to YTCR and we're going to show you Megapogs exactly how to get started. This is the first major update to YTCR that basically adds a clip button and it also just makes everything just so much easier. There's no more going into C sharp code, trying to change everything to exactly how it should be set up for yourself. Everything is a whole lot more simpler how to set it up. We've also just done some quality of life improvements as well onto the extension that you might have already seen. Let's go take a look at the very quick tutorial on how to get channel points and a clip button onto your YouTube channel. The first place you'll ever want to find yourself is on the wiki which is wiki.gazelle.io forward slash YTCR. The link is always down below. You want to make sure that you have StreamerBot version 1.8 or newer. And you also want to make sure that you have an affiliated Twitch account as well. Once you've done that, you can just click the download button. What you want to do is download the YTCR version 0.1.2.gazelle from our GitHub. It should look like this inside your file explorer. Open up your StreamerBot and head over to import. Get that file that we just downloaded and drag it into the import string box. And you should see three new things here call clipping tool, execute channel reward redeem, and set channel rewards. Press the import button. We should see there's these here then underneath the gazelle category. And what you want to do is you want to get the set channel rewards and in here you can see a set global YouTube channel ID to change me. Double click that and paste in your YouTube channel ID here. If you're not sure how to get that, head on over to youtube.com, click on your little perfect face up in the top right hand side, and go into settings. Over on the far left, you want to click advanced settings. And then right here, you can see your channel ID. I'm going to press that copy button right there. Go back into streamer bot and change that value and paste in your ID like that. This is also the exact link here on where to get that channel ID in case you're lost. If you want to set up the clipping tool, it's really, really simple. Head over to clipping tool here. And you can see here that it is a fork of Hyperstrix clipping tool that we've done a YouTube video on a few weeks back. And basically all you have to do in here is just set your replay path and your output path. Your replay path is basically where the files are already currently being saved from inside your OBS replay buffer settings. So in case you're not sure, this is basically done by just heading into OBS settings, going to output, and then your recordings. Your recording path is basically what this is. Do just note, however, that it is formatted for C sharp, so it's not going to be exactly how it would be found on Windows. However, hopefully my little template there will be a good understanding of exactly how, to, how it should be formatted. If you get stuck or lost or anything on this, feel free to jump into the Discord down below and we'll be always happy to help. Your output path is quite similar, except it's where you want the files to end up being. What happens with the clipping tool is that when it goes into the recording, it puts it there and then it moves it over to this new folder with a different name. This is basically how we do the spam prevention to make sure that people don't just go eating up all of your hard drive space. It'll only allow one clip every minute. So again, just change that to where you want the clips to actually end up being saved to. If you're recording a different file format, you can update this here. I do mine in just MP4, so I just have it there. But if you use MKV or anything like that, uh, feel free to update it here. I do just want to let you know, however, that I've only tested this with MP4 and I haven't tried other formats. So if you have any problems, let me know. And that's all you have to do because it just takes all that information and it puts it right in here for you. The next step then is actually connecting to the WebSocket. So the WebSocket is needed because that's how it gets all the information in there. So what you want to do is head over to server slash clients and head over to WebSocket clients. From here then, right click and add. And we're going to call this Gazelles. YTCR, you can call it whatever you want. You want to change this endpoint right here to what's here on the wiki. We want to auto connect on startup, reconnect on disconnect, and we're going to set the replay interval to five seconds. On the connected, you want to do the set channel rewards, and on the message, you want to execute. So to understand this a little bit better, basically, every time you connect to the WebSocket, which will happen every time you open StreamerBot, it's going to pull the settings file that has all of your channel points in it and it'll push it over to us. What that basically means is that if you're updating or making changes to any channel points while you're connected, you will need to just disconnect and reconnect from the WebSocket for it to take effect. You can easily do that by just right clicking on it. Let's say we're connected. It'll say open. So if you do want to make it, if you have made changes and you want it to reflect on the extension instantly, Right click on it, go to disconnect, and then right click and press reconnect again. Once you're done that, you should head over to ytcor.gazelle.io, press the login sign up button. It's going to prompt you to sign in with Discord. This basically verifies that you're the owner of the YouTube account that you're setting up. 
because you have it linked with your Discord. If you don't have it linked with your Discord, head over into the user settings, click into connections. You should have your YouTube right here. If you don't, just press the little YouTube button and sign in there. It's the only way how it works. For now, we're gonna press authorize and here we're gonna be prompted with the points per interval. Points per interval is basically how many points do you want your viewers to get every five minutes. Everybody gets points at the exact same time every five minutes on the five minute mark. 12 at five past 12 at 10 past 12, etc. Everybody generates points at those exact same times. I just have mine set to 100 because I think that's fair, but you can change this up on however way you want it, depending on how much you want things to cost. If something never went wrong, you can add or remove points to certain users as well. So let's say if lazy streaming redeemed something, but something in my streamer watch just wasn't working, I can just instantly give him back those points by just entering plus 500 points, submit, and then uh, lazy streaming now has an extra 500 points to play with. You can also visit your profile up here and you can see all the points that everybody has. So here, for example, we can see that, yes, I did give lazy streaming 500 points. Take note of your username as well up here in the URL, because there's a really, really cool way that you can embed this into your OBS so you can keep an eye on everybody's points. Inside your OBS, you can go into docs and create custom docs. And here I have one called YTCR, basically this link in it here. And as you can see, I have IRL create marked in here as well. This basically just makes this little window inside of OBS that I can dock to anywhere so I can always keep an eye on how many points people have. Your final step then will basically be to make sure that you actually have channel points set up. If you head over to platforms and we're gonna go into the Twitch platform here and we're gonna head over to the channel point rewards. As you can see here, I have things grouped under YTCR and that's basically how it works. If I wanted to create a channel reward, for example, I'm going to right click and add. We're going to call it test. We're going to set the price. Yeah, 100 is fine. You can have a prompt. Oh yeah, and we're also just going to say, let's have a an action set there too. And the most important things that you need to make note of that it has to be enabled. It cannot have user input required at this time. We're still working on that feature. Hopefully in the next version that will be available. And underneath group, you want to have this set to YTCR. If you don't have this drop down here, you can always just type it in and it will set it to the YTCR group. Once you add that then, obviously, of course, you need to make sure that you head over to your WebSocket and just do a cheeky little disconnect and reconnect and now that will appear inside of the chrome extension so as i mentioned there have been some quality of life improvements as well and we're going to walk over those right now first thing you should notice here is our new logo up here in the top side of your youtube this will only appear when you're on a live stream and because i have ytcr connected when i click it it's just instantly going to go to my points page and down here is basically where your viewers will activate channel rewards Clicking that button, it's going to open up all of the available ones that we have to offer. And you can even see the new test one that I added here as well and the clip button. So this will always scale with however long that your channel points are. And to help against spam prevention, we've added a cooldown of five seconds. So one user can only redeem that one specific thing every five seconds. So you can see what this looks like here. Let's say we're going to do a barrel roll. First, they have to claim it. So it's not just instant click. So claim it. I see the way it's grayed out now. And then after five seconds, it won't be grayed out anymore. So this does mean that they still can do multiples like this, but they won't be able to just spam the same one over and over and over again. We're working on more integrations as well. For example, I'd like to have an option that when you click this button here as well, if you have a social profile with us, it will open that up. So for example, if you don't know what a social profile is, me.gazelle.me forward slash IRL create, and it opens up my social profile here like this. Anybody can create one of these as well, by the way. And basically I want to have a way that we can integrate this inside of the extension. So that way you can tell all your viewers, you know, it's like, oh yeah, check out my Twitter, click on the big G, you know what I mean? I don't think I've missed anything anyway, but of course we'll always have the full change log on our Discord. And as well, there's also the full wiki to help you get set up if you rather do it that way rather than listening to me. We're always eager on your thoughts. So if you have any suggestions or improvements that you'd like us to do, please let us know in our Discord as well. We super, super, super appreciate it. And if you really love what we do and you want to help support us to maybe get some more developers involved and stuff like that as well, we do have a coffee link so you can come and give us a tip just for say thank you. That link is always down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more updates and just more cool things with StreamerBot and streaming in general. We do also do Twitch stuff too. And if you loved it, give us that thumbs up. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.